What it is guys, my name is Swifters, and today I'm going to be showing you guys some gameplay of riding the roller coaster in GTA 5 online through the Independence Day DLC. So as you guys can see, I am currently at the pier, and I'm going to go ahead and head over to the Leviathan roller coaster, and I'm going to go ahead and hit right on the D-pad in order to get inside of it. And uh, for, <laughs> for some reason, uh, me and my friend uh, uh, kind of glitched out, and uh, we're both riding in the exact same seat. Um, uh, you know, this is currently a live commentary, and me and my friend are in the same game. So this is extremely funny that uh, we're in the exact same seat. As you guys can see, it's extremely glitched out, and it kind of looks like we're uh, sitting on each other's laps. This is a lot of fun, and uh, the really cool thing about this is, one, you can raise your hands, two, you can go to a cinematic camera just to kind of see what's going on, and three, you can also scream into the microphone to, um, you know, gain some RP, but in order to scream into the microphone, you do have to be inside of the, um, inside of game chat, but, but, um, <coughs> sorry about that, um, but I remember, um, that you could go on the roller coaster inside of the story mode, and, um, I remember that that was something that I checked when the GTA 5 Online came out back in October of 2013. I remember checking to see if that could come out, or checking to see if you could ride the roller coasters and ride the rides, and uh, you actually couldn't, which was a huge bummer uh, because you weren't able to ride the rides in uh, GTA Online. So uh, I'm really happy that they were able to add this uh, and allow us to ride the roller coaster, um, but I would really like to see this um, roller coaster being able to be ridden, you know, um, not just through this Independence Day DLC. I would also love to see if we could ride the Ferris wheel, um, the uh, giant uh, drop, and just a bunch of other uh, things. I think it would be really cool if we were able to ride all of the rides um, just uh, throughout the entire time GTA 5 Online is available, and not just through these DLCs. But other than that, that's all I really do have for you in today's video. I hope you did enjoy it, and if you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for some of the best daily top-notch GTA 5 content. Again, I'm going to be posting a ton of information regarding the 1.15 patch update and the Independence Day DLC, so be sure to subscribe to stay tuned. Until next time, guys, and this has been Swifters. I'm out. Peace.